Hello, my name is Stephanie Toman and I work at Coventry University. I've been running the ICDL, as it's known now, Test Centre for 18 years. It was previously called ECDL, which I'm sure you're all aware of. That was the European Computer Driving Licence Qualifications. And now it's called ICDL, which is the International Certificate of Digital Literacy. Each qualification holds that banner. And at Coventry University, we've been doing this for some time, as I said, and we've got quite a lot of experience. We now have the option to do things online and you can also be remotely tested. Hence the reason that you may be more interested. So it gives you more um, scope. OK, so let's have a look and see what it's all about. So, as I've just said, it's previously known as ECDL. And it's a really uh, great qualification, it's well recognised, it's great for students, workers, professionals um, and just if you just want to brush up on IT skills and feel like you're, you're up there with the, with the rest of us just doing it on a day-to-day -day basis if you like and you've got the skill sets you need to do that. Um, it's sort of under the banner of the Chartered Institute of IT and it's BCS, British Computer Society, that managed the award. Um, and that's the, the one that's mainly recognised when you talk about the qualification from BCS. Uh, it equips you, as it said, with skills to use a computer confidently and effectively. Effectively isn't something that we always think about, but it is good that if you can do things quicker, therefore um, an employer is going to be much happier. Globally recognised, so it's now going across the, uh, the globe and uh, the Irish form of ICDL is going that way and the digital skills standard has been set now. It was a benchmark before, it's the same thing, but it gives you standardisation um, of digital skills that's expected in the workplace and elsewhere. So it's an advantage to companies because they know that uh, they don't have to worry about you. You've got it on your CV, they can tick that box and you can bring along uh, your other qualifications and hopefully grab the job. So it's wide, widely recognised so you don't need to, to go around explaining it to employers, they just know that it will be okay. There's some stuff here as well which I could go through but it's basically talking about the same sort of thing but it gives you an idea of uh, what uh, employers are interested in and what they want and the fact that we've been running things as we have for some time and quite well as well. This portfolio for the, uh, the ICDL um, qualifications that I've been talking about, the foundation that would have been previously ECDL foundation, seven unit modules. And I'm sure that most of you know that one. That would be the one that you would see IT security, computer essentials, online essentials, and then you would have the, uh, the applications, Word, Excel, presentation or PowerPoint and access. So you would have a really good grounding across it. The ICDL Extra is the one where you get four modules. So you have, once again, you have Word, PowerPoint or presentation and Excel, which are wi uh, widely used in work. And you would have an, uh, another test where you would uh, put that application into practice and do a multiple choice test on, uh, on it too. The advanced, they are standalone, uh, so you can do them individually, and there's presentation, word processing, and spreadsheets. There is also a database, advanced database, which we'll be doing in the future, um, so look out for that if you are interested. Our website um, will take you uh, to have a look at the detail, so if we just click there now, and we'll go and have a look. So on our website, I'm just going to pop this on here. You can see that if you go to that link, you'll see the, uh, the information and details. If you scroll down, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is it talks about sending us an email if you're doing a virtual ICD or virtual course with us. The reason is, is that we need to make sure that the device you have will run the uh, diagnostic test, that's the pre-online test, and it will run the tests as well. Because if you're taking them remotely, if you're not local and you can't come in to take them, then this is the way that you can do that. We've had a uh, testing from in Cyprus, we've had testing in Scotland, um, down in Bournemouth, Cornwall, some lovely places, <laughs> I wouldn't mind being myself, but we've got, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of experience in that. 
So you send in that email, we will then contact you. Uh, if you're using that, send an email, it'll come directly to me that you can just see here. And uh, we'll then uh, arrange with you to check your device and we'll check to make sure that you can uh, meet the requirements. And those requirements, if we just click on the next one, you can see here, um, will be to make sure that you download a desktop version of Teams because the web version doesn't work and it is the desktop version of Teams that we use in the testing so this will give you an idea of what it will be like. Um, we need you to have a Windows OS device operating system, Windows, because it doesn't work on MacBooks and Chromebooks unfortunately. Um, and you need to have a webcam Office on your device, Office 2016, 2019 or 365 all can be tested um, the extension is a Chrome extension that will um, help us to get the platform to come out uh, and bring the test forward and there's also a .NET 3.5 that we need to activate as well so it won't do your device any harm but we do need to make sure that these work so that we know you can run the tests so once you've uh, had your test um, your device tested if you like for our testing then um, what we'll do is we need to make sure that we've got your ID. Now ID can be taken at this time if you really decide that you're going to go ahead and enroll or it can be taken uh, at the enrolment stage but you must have ID checked uh, before you can uh, be given the enrolment, the registration that we will be sending you um, with BCS, the official qualification registration. That uh, ID will consist of a passport, one of these, an identity card, full driving license. If you haven't got any of those, then you can pick two from this list here and you can get those two. We can see them visually on the screen while we're on Teams with you. Um, or we'll show you how to send them securely by email. But we'll only take the, uh, the, the fact that you've got ID, we will not be recording anything with regards to that ID. So there'll be nothing more than that. So then you might want to apply for the course. So let's just go back to um, our way of going back to the, just, let's just come back in here and you can see that you've gone through here before. So we're back in, um, clicking on here, you looked at all the details before or you might be looking at them now for the first time just to make sure that it is something you want to do. So right at the end you've got apply for this course and this is where you'll be taken to the area where you can register. There's more information, it's just reiterating some of the things that I've said um, but if you want to read it again that's entirely up to you. We do do on-campus testing as you can still there, so you can still attend on campus, but generally people do the remote. So if you click on the register button up here, it will take you through to the area where you can fill in all your details and that will be the information that we will receive. Uh, and then at the end of this, once you proceed, so your learning pack consists of your BCS registration number, which will be emailed to you as it says on here directly. Um, and then you'll receive a link to YouTube bite-sized videos and you'll get your learning uh, practice materials. So this is the link you'll be sent with regard to the YouTube videos. So uh, this is what you're going to be looking at. There's plenty to look at. And down here you can see that we've got the ICDL Foundation uh, single module bite size, and then there's lots of other stuff as well if you're going to be doing advanced, for example, or an extra which is down towards the bottom. So I'll show you how to use them. I was decided I was going to do my um, module one. I need to do the learning first, that's to watch the videos, almost like watching somebody demonstrate in a lecture or some, something like that. So you're watching things. We give you the materials, which I'll show you in a moment, whereby you can um, open those, download them onto your device, and you can go along with the lecture videos with those materials at the same time or separately entirely up to you. So if you click on these view full list playlists here you can see that each module has its own. So if we looked at the first one, module one IT security, it will give you the areas, the different areas where you can get the information that you need. It's very much a terminology module and it's really good at making sure that you look after your PC or devices and uh, you make sure that it's safe. And there's lots of information in there and the test is a multiple choice test. So it's very much like the way that you're learning it here. So there's lots, as I said, um, that you can go through. So what you would do 
as you would learn. A module maybe at a time, you can do them in any order. And then what we have is you would receive your folder um, that you would open up and then you would it'd look like this. So what we're doing is, is we'll say, we'll go back to the presentation in a moment, but what we're saying is that uh, you would open up and extract it or and save it to your machine. So when you when you open this, what you'll see is each of these folders has all of the materials, including the syllabus that you would use to practice. This one has resources to use for the, with the video, as I said. This one has lots of practice tests, pre practice papers, and they all have solutions, so you you're not stuck, um, not knowing what it is you expected to do, and they all have different things within them. Word, for example, will have a practice test that goes along with the, uh, once again, with the video. And then it has some practice tests where you're actually uh, putting things down in Word itself. So this test and the Excel, PowerPoint and other ones, they're actually live applications coming into the diagnostic that you're going to do and the test. And you apply all these things to it. So it's like working on a live application on your PC, and that's what these will do. So if you open one of these up, for example, you can see that they all have their solutions, and then they ask you to do something just like they would in the test, and then you would go along and you would do it. So that's how those are um, instigated and how you would learn. So just quickly back into, uh, we'll stay in this mode, so it's just, um, going back here. And you can see this is the folder that I was looking at, uh, talking about, and we opened it up and extracted. And then we put them all onto our device. And then it gives you the information about each folder. And I've just taken you through how each folder, what they have within them. Um, and you can then look at them and use them in the best way for you. Uh, everyone learns differently. So here's a little step by step. Watch the videos and use the resources if you wish uh, to go along with them. Make sure you've understood the skill and how to use it so you can look for the solutions. Remember, this is talking about doing things efficiently and effectively as well. So there might be a quicker way of doing something than the way you've been doing for some time, maybe, and you're going to learn to do it a little bit better. So then you've got practice, practice, practice. And skip through the videos if you know the skills already. So remember, you're all at different levels. You might, some of you might have an um, approach of gap filling, so you've got quite a lot of skills self-taught, and just want to tick a few more boxes on the on the syllabus or the skill sets, and gain a certificate. And some of you may be learning right from scratch. So what you're doing is you're making sure that you understand the module, each each uh, stage of it, each bite-sized bit, and then you do the online test. That's the next stage on that module to see if you've actually uh, learnt what you think you've learnt. So the thing is, what we would do at that stage, you could have, um, we normally do, another in, uh, sort of Teams where we show you how to use the diagnostic test. Although there is a video that we can send if some of you feel uh, quite okay with doing things like that. Uh, we've got a video that you can follow and do that for yourself. So it really depends on, on how comfortable you feel with that. So that the diagnostic, if you like, is going to be just like the, uh, the test. It's the same software, gets you familiar with it. And um, you can take yourself through it if you wish and do it. And then we'll show you or talk to you about how you can get feedback on that test as well, that pre-test, so that you can get some information back to see which uh, areas you were weaker on and maybe need to do a little bit more work on. So really, in a sense, uh, that is the, um, if we just go all the way to the top again, that is the International Certificate of Digital Literacy Qualifications, that one being the ICD Foundation, but there are quite a few of them, as I've showed you. So really, if you're not sure which one you would like to take, you can always contact me for that reason as well. Remember, Stephanie Taman, details were at the end of this presentation and also you could send me some through that email on the uh, website so I can always help with that uh, if you haven't done IT uh, for quite some time refreshing even at a lower level than you were can sometimes be quite helpful and you can learn a more efficient way of doing things I hope this has helped um, I know it's a little bit long this video but at least it covers everything and you can skip through to the areas that you wanted to know about so hopefully we will see you. If not, 
best of luck of everything uh, and it, whichever way you go to learn things but we'd uh, love to take you on board if you want to okay so that's the Steffi Toman thank you for watching and take care